Well, welcome back. As you just saw before the break, it's time to head back out to Rick's Smokehouse, where Julie has some special guests. Julie. I do indeed, Hazel Marie, and we are so excited today to be able to be here on location and welcome our friends from the Hoosier Lottery who are responsible for making two gives back. Sarah, thank you so much for what you do because recognizing these individuals has become so important for us, and I know it's important for you. It is at the Hoosier Lottery to reward and honor our public servants. We truly thank you and Hazel Marie and the team back at the office for what they do. You know, it's not just a day like this where you can recognize these officers, but every single day, the Hoosier Lottery is giving back in a big way to those who serve in first responders. Yes, thanks to our Indiana General Assembly, every year we give $30 million into the Police and Firefighter Pension Fund, and that's really important to us. We feel like we own that whole community, whether they love us or not, we do. <laughs> well, I think the fact of the matter is, is what we do as individuals, too, when we play the Hoosier Lottery, is we are giving a small piece back. You are, that's right, exactly. Those monies that we pay our winners and then we pay the retailers for selling the product and the remaining dollars go for the state of Indiana to help with these various pension funds and the fund to help offset our motor, motor vehicle excise tax. Now here's what's really neat. We are going to show folks at home a special treat that you're offering yes. this year. You brought a bunch for the officers, not just here, but back at the, back at the precinct who didn't get to come today. A really cool ticket. Tell me about what you're doing this summer. So again, it's a mega thanks to those public servants. The retired teachers, retired policemen, retired firefighters, and their organizations. And it allows them, when they're visiting the Indiana State Fair at the Hoosier Lottery Grandstand or the Hoosier Lottery Expo Hall, to redeem this for a Mega Millions jackpot ticket. What, what if there's an organization watching right now who's like, I think I want some of those for my teachers or my officers? That's right. They need to contact us immediately. They can do it through Facebook on a direct message or call us, visit us. We're there to help. We kind of twisted the arms of the guys and told them if they win a million they got a share but we'll keep that on the DL. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey Mayor, I want to take a minute here with you because you know what this means to have these kinds of recognitions for your officers. Can you explain to the public though what it means? Well, you know our police officers work hard every single day and they don't get a lot of credit for things sometimes and take some criticism. It's just, you know, they interact with people on a daily basis and are usually at some of their worst times and yet our officers are so professional and they work so hard and they never give up on anything. They make sure they bring people to justice and take care of people's property and their person and, and it's just so important to recognize and celebrate those achievements when they happen yeah. and thank them for their service. Well, we, we got one beside us right now who just had a really big, mm. big one when it came down to this cold case. Uh, Chief Keene, I got to ask you, for you personally, what does it mean though to bring together your team? Because I know you don't like to take a lot of credit for what just happened. It was, it was your team that made it happen. So what do you want the public to know about these guys? guys and gals. I think more than anything that it's not like a television show. We don't solve cases in a one hour episode. There's a lot of work that the men and women behind me put into these cases and it's not as glamorous as it might appear on TV but the work that they do is extremely important to our department and to our community. You know it's funny because we just heard the story we shared with you with our viewers and that's exactly what you talked about is it, it takes a lot and in this day and age there's a lot more technology too. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, the case we've talked about Ed, is a big part in that, yeah, and uh, it helps investigators a lot now. So. Well, you've helped this community in more ways than you know. So, Chief, thank you for what you do. Thank you so much for your time today. And I'm going to actually have you step off that direction because I want folks to know this is a great group of guys and gals here we're recognizing. They said to me, if you show me stuff and food in my face, I'm really going to get on you, Julie, and probably give you a ticket. But that's okay. I want you all to know that this group of people, incredibly blessed we are to have them in this community and we say thank you to them today and every day for the service they provide. Hazel Marie, it is a great day here at Rick's Smokehouse as we once again say thanks and two gives back to those who give so much of themselves. Thanks, Julie.